course web to Sakai in four easy steps. Step one, request a Sakai site. So you'll go to help.unc.edu and click on submit a help request. Type in your onion and password and log in. You'll then see a screen that looks like this. You'll scroll all the way down to the S's. Look for Sakai support. Click it. And then your secondary issue is number three, Sakai site creation. There's a series of questions that you'll go in and fill out. What's most important is that you tell us that you're replacing the course web space tool and that we know the name uh, number of your course. So you'll get your Sakai site and here's what you'll do. Log in with your onion and then you'll see at least two tabs at the top. You landed my workspace so you're going to click on your course site and it will look something like this. These are some default tools, site info and stats, but resources is what's really important. So in the next movie, we're going to show you how to upload and download multiple resources. For now, we're going to create a public folder because we're going to create a public site. So we create a folder, we name it public, and we're going to add details. So we'll scroll down and you'll see this radio button. Right here, you're going to select this folder and its contents are publicly viewable. So if you've had a course web space site that has been public for students, this is how you do it. Now let's imagine that your Sakai site has more tools than this. To remove them, you just go to Site Info and you'll see Edit Tools at the top, click it, and then you unclick or uncheck all of the tools that are selected except Home and Resources and you'll notice site info and site stats are selected by default. Go ahead and click continue. We're going to cancel because our site is already set up right. And that's all there is to it. Congratulations, you've gotten through step one successfully.